Hey guys, what's up? It's BMP, and today I'm going to do another unboxing video. This one's a little different than I normally do. It was kind of a last minute decision, so I apologize for if it's not really put together well, but here we go. I decided to get upgrade my wireless adapter that I have in my PC. I got one that looks like this when I first ordered my PC. It's a small little guy. Sometimes gets the job done, sometimes it doesn't, but anyway, it's not really giving me the speeds that I'm paying for or anywhere close. There's some days I'm able to stream and there's some days I'm not because the internet is not getting to my PC to perform what I need it to do and it's a little bit ridiculous. I'm paying for 250 megabits per second and I'm barely getting 10 on it and that, that's a good day with this adapter. And I have my phone sitting here beside me, I have my PS4 sitting over here too and they're still getting way better speeds on wireless than, I don't know if it's something going wrong with the adapter or if it's something in my PC that's preventing it to do what it needs to do but either way it's getting a little ridiculous and I'm tired of it so I decided to go out and try a new one and just check it out since I can hardwire my PC it's the whole ways downstairs I'll give you guys a little video of that showing you how far away and why I can't hardwire because people's like there's always a way to hardwire you're right there is a way I could probably hardwire but I'd have to put some well, I would have to put some wires in the wall to come up through here and it's not really my place to do that and this isn't my permanent residence so I don't really want to do that or run a bunch of wire from upstairs in the hallways, all that stuff. This is a lot of unnecessary things for me to be doing when I'm not going to be here for that much longer. So. I'm trying to do some quick fixes and the back of my PC uh, you could put a wireless card in no problem but once you break off that thing in the back the this slot for it to go in in the back of my PC how the PC case is that slot can be put back in like a lot of PCs you have those slots that you undo and then you can put it back in if you don't need it anymore but that's not the case with this one you break them out it's kind of annoying and I don't want a giant slot open when I'm no longer needing it because eventually when, I, when I'm moving I'm going to be hardwiring it so I'm trying to avoid that step unless I absolutely positively have to. Alright guys this is why I cannot hardwire my computer. I'm going to show you where my actual router and everything is and then why it would be so difficult. So I decided to go a different route and I picked up this one right here from Netgear. Um, hopefully this one will give me better results more consistently than what I was getting. I will do a, a speed test for you on the adapter that I'm using now so you can see and then when we put this new one we'll do a, a speed test to see if it's any better. So before I plug in this new Wi-Fi adapter I want to show you guys what type of internet I'm dealing with with the uh, Wi-Fi adapter that I have in now. It's super tiny. I got it with the computer when I ordered it and I'm lucky if I can pull out 10 on this computer. I don't know if it's a computer thing, I don't know if it's the adapter thing, but I've tried multiple things. Many people tried multiple things to try to get this thing going. So I'm getting the, this is what the Wi-Fi adapter is. It's the NMAX AC600 wireless adapter. And what I have, what I'm gonna be putting in is the Netgear one, so. Like I said, some days I can stream and some days I can't. It's just super unreliable and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Holy mackerel. This is massively, this is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, this is like really good internet for me. Usually, I, I, the most I've ever had this was up at 20. Usually I have it at like two or one. So for it to hit 14 is crazy. All right, so there we have it, we have that. So we'll see with this new adapter if we can get anything better. So first we'll just unbox this bad boy. An installation kit. 
and then and a CD drive. I don't have a CD drive in mind besides usually these CDs that help you install it, put the drivers in are really outdated anyway. So it's better for you just to go to the website and get the updated driver. So that's what we're gonna be doing with this. So we're not gonna be dealing with that. We have this. What's kind of cool about this Wi-Fi adapter is you don't have to have it just the dang dongle hanging out of your PC. It does have like kind of like a dock, like you would hook this section into your PC and then you would hook the actual Wi-Fi adapter into this and you can like set it up higher, over, closer, wherever you need to get better signal, whatever you need. It kind of gives you more mobility in trying to get better internet as opposed to just keeping it plugged in as a dongle in the back front piece of your PC wherever you're going to put it. So this is the docking station kind of for it. So that's kind of cool. And then this is the actual Wi-Fi adapter itself. Like this, it's a lot bigger than the one I'm working with. Hopefully we get some better results with this, so. Put that one aside for now. This also opens up so it gives you an antenna and it flips around so you can get higher, lower, you know, stuff like that. So you can keep it closed like this if it works really well like this, or if you need some extra antennas, extra juice or whatever, you got this, okay? Let's plug this in. I think I'm gonna go, since I'm already having issues, I'm gonna try to dock her up. I'm gonna go back to my PC, put this in. All right guys, so I plugged it in and I put it on the docking station so I have it plugged into the USB 3.0. It does work better if you use 3.0 but it is backwards compatible with 2.0. But like I said, it gets it performs better if you use it in 3.0 for the USB. So I have that plugged into the back of my PC. And then I have the docking station sitting on top of my PC at the edge. And we're going to check it out. When I plugged it in, nothing actually really popped up or said anything. So I was kind of confused. So all I did was I clicked on my network. It just had like a little thing asterisk here and I clicked on it and then I went up to my network and I pressed connect and I connected and everything was good it came up so guys what I did because it didn't have its name on there and I thought that was kind of odd most like even when I plugged in with my old USB adapter it automatically came up as Ed Max or whatever the heck it's called so I was like I'm just gonna go download the drivers anyway even though it's working because you want the best drivers so I went up to the internet of America's Went to Google, typed in Netgear, clicked on this, and then after that loaded, I went to support, typed in the product that I have, which is the AC1200, and then all these options came up, so then I just started looking at them, and I'm like, it's not really a range extender, so I clicked, so I looked at this one, and I said, it doesn't say high gain actually on the package, but it's a USB adapter, and then I checked the model number, and it corresponded with the same model number on the box of A6210. So I clicked on this. Lo and behold, the picture that popped up was indeed the one that I have currently right now plugged into my PC. So I went down here, clicked on downloads. It drove me down here. I clicked on current software, and I clicked download, and then it came down there. So I already did it, so I'm not going to do it again, but that's all you do. All right, so once you get it download, it's going to come up to a screen similar to this. And I just clicked on this, and a pop-up window came up and said, for this to properly work, you're going to have to extract the files. Do you want to extract the files? And I did, and then all of a sudden, everything started working, and I got the Netgear Genie. It downloaded, popped up, and it pretty much walks you through the process of that. So right, as you can see down here, it's saved onto my desktop, the net, the Netgear Genie, all right? And basically it popped up, joined a network. So I clicked on mine, I put in my password and everything. You can press that little button on the side and it does it kind of manually, but I didn't want to do that. I just did everything myself. And then as, it see, as you see, I'm connected. It tells me everything out of here. It tells me everything down here. Even with my old adapter, I still didn't have a full strength signal. And this one, I still don't either. So it kind of toggles a lot. So we're going to run a speed test and see what's up with it. See how it is doing. Okay, speed test. Running it. Already, I'm getting like... A lot better than what I was getting originally like I said earlier in the video guys with my old one I was getting maybe if I was lucky 
uh, five megabits per second on a on download, and that was on a good day. The most I've ever reached was 25, and then as you saw earlier in that one, I was having a good internet day, and I had like 17, which is so rare. But this one, look at that, guys. That's so much better. Download the drivers. I got, I was getting better download speeds with the drivers installed as opposed to the first test that I did without the drivers. I still got good speeds, but it wasn't consistent, and this seems more consistent. So I really recommend, guys, going to Netgear, downloading the drivers. It's super easy, super quick, and it helped my internet out immensely, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm still under what I'm paying for, but this is way more than enough for what I need to get done. So... I am loving this. If you guys have any questions, put it in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you guys think you guys want to update how this is doing later down the road, I'll definitely try to do that. Just let me know in the process. Just let me know down in the comments below what you guys want and I will do my best to get that for you. There's multiple options. You can put the dongle straight into your PC or you can have it on the dock to get a better reception from anywhere around the room that it goes with. And I love that. And so far, it's doing great, guys. So I totally recommend this if you need a better Wi-Fi adapter than what you're getting. All right, guys, that does it for me. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, hit the bell so you guys know when we do other unboxings, tutorials, videos, whatever the case may be that we put on this channel. Just hit it. You're going to thank me later. Also, stop by our Twitch. I'll leave links in the description below go give us a, a sub over there if you're feeling super generous or just even a follow do whatever you guys feel happy and that's it for me i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this gave you some insight on a usb wi-fi adapter if you are up in arms with the, your old one or you need a better wi-fi solution hopefully this video gave you some information of a good one to use i'm happy with it so far all right you guys have a wonderful evening i'm out Tell me pretty lies Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake